I believe theirs is a love that the sonnets are written about, that music is composed over. It is heralded through the ages, and it is something to be admired and cherished, and definitely for all of us to try to emulate in our lives. My advice is this, cherish your friendship, cherish each other, and always find a new way to fall in love. My name is Mike, and I am uh, Tom's best man, best friend, uh, life coach a little bit sometimes. We've been friends for a long time, and uh, we've experienced a lot together. And we have learned a tremendous amount about life, friends, family, uh, important things in our careers, and how to be a great example for others uh, through each other. Yeah, yeah. Tom, thank you. And it's an honor to be uh, your best man. It really is. She has been my confidant. She's my friend. She's my family. She is the most lovely woman I know. She is the kind of woman that has always found a way to make whatever seems impossible possible. She has taken care of me when I've been very sick. She has held me through heartache. She has rejoiced in all of my happiness. She's shared in every victory of my life. She's been there for me in every moment that I deem important of my adult life, and I love her very dearly. Tom and Rachel are such an amazing alchemy of love, energy, ambition. I invite all of you to take a moment to just stop and recognize the miracle this moment is. A moment to just stop and let go of whatever might be distracting you from the here and now. A moment to consider all the stars aligning, millions of pieces coming together, and coincidences that had to occur over a lifetime for two people to find one another. Remember the work you have done to get here today, to this point. Remember to be patient with one another as you embark on this journey, and that compassion and fidelity are paramount to making this work. Seek inspiration where you find peaceful and devoted relationships. Seek counsel and calm hearts and tender hands that can point you back towards the commitment you're about to make to one another. And I promise my love to you. And with this ring, and with this ring, I take you as my wife. I take you as my wife. To love you fiercely and loyally. To love you fiercely and loyally. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. I take you as my husband. To love fiercely and loyally. To love fiercely and loyally. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. In 2003, we moved to Park City and planted a blue spruce in the front yard. Rachel was a junior at Skyline. Every year since, I plant hundreds of flowers, but it is always beautiful to watch them grow. Each year, the spruce grows a little taller and stronger, infusing stark blue-green against an otherwise monochrome landscape. Then the environment morphs again, lifestyles change, skis are put back in the garage, and bikes come out, and that tree grows two feet tall. Today, that tree is over 30 feet tall, strong, beautifully shaped, it is set to withstand repeated winters, to weather beautifully each season, and while annual flowers add a beauty that can be enjoyed by all, they are transient in nature. Not like you, my child. Your roots are deep and strong. Both you and Tom stand tall in an often hard environment. You are both made of tougher stuff that remains constant, no matter the conditions that surround you. This moment provides us a rich, warm setting. Like flowers, we surround you, watching as year after year, your tall forms grow ever stronger and ever more able to weather life's storms.